hello everyone welcome to easy chemistry by Pravin. so today we are going to discuss about the new classification that is called as a luther mayer classification in the luther mayer classification this classification is also based upon the atomic weight first point we have to learn that now this classification is also based upon the atomic weight when the elements are arranged in the increasing order they are showing the physical and chemical properties atomic so he has drawn the graph between the two parameters or two things one is called as a atomic volume atomic volume next one is atomic mass so how we calculated the atomic volume atomic volume he calculated by using the formula is equal atomic mass upon the density so whenever he is drawn the graph he observed the something like a it is looking like a uh, graph like this if you see the graph something it, it, it is looking like this so in this graph if you see the any graph here in this graph you can see the four things you can see so for example top portion if you are seeing like this no this he called it as a peaks we are calling this is called as a peaks he called it as a he called it as a peak but our convenience so when the graph is coming from top to bottom or so, sorry graph is if you see the edge of this one edge this edge down this we can call it as a trough you can call it as a trough You can call it as a trough so here top to bottom down it is coming no for every graph you can see for every graph there are the four parts will be there top to bottom it is coming so top to bottom it is coming you can call it as a descending or descending you can call it as a descending so down to up we can use a another you can use another thing up like this it is going up for every up it is called as a ascending so the graph mainly showing the four parts it is showing what is this the four parts also for example you can see the first part i am talking about first part is called as a peaks first part is called as a piece this one is called as a peak whatever the round whatever i am rounding that is called as a peaks the peaks containing the only like a alkali metals it is containing it is containing only like a alkali metals it is containing alkali metals in the sense lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and prontium of course alkali metals is nothing but what alkali metals is nothing but the base only basic nature only but they are water soluble in the nature that's why we are calling it as a alkali metal first point is peak is done second one you can see that na ascending ascending in the sense in the graph you can see down to up you can see that no halogens groups halogens groups are present here that means fluorine chlorine bromine iodine they are showing the similar properties every graph na these are like a same they are like a same thing only but mean for example you can see here here fluorine is there next immediately chlorine next immediately bromine next immediately iodine same sequence same sequence but they are present in the ascending next one you can see that descending order descending descending part or descending position if you see the descending position they are having like a alkaline earth metals alkaline earth metals in the graph alkaline earth metal in the sense whether the alkaline alkaline earth metals in the sense whether they are like a water soluble or insoluble also for example you can see that no beryllium you can see magnesium you can see calcium you can see strontium you can see barium also you can see the fourth one is trough down portion you can see that no this is like a trough this is like a trough so here transition elements are present every graph here one transition element here another transition element like this it is present so transition element nothing but what transition is element is nothing but the 
d block element transition element is nothing but d block element in this we are consider not consider zinc we will not consider cadmium we will not consider we will not consider the mercury and new copper nickel also we will not consider of course here the graph is okay but now why this graph also having the um, some demerit is there and one more thing if you see that no that uh, new land classification you can see double niche classification you can see and coming also we are making the new uh, like uh, mental if also we are making but now here the graph is very difficult to analyze to remember to study that's why we are not studying the luther mayer classification 